Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and I like to read and today I'm going to be doing seven books that I need to read before the end of 2024. So I wanted to do this list because these are books that like I've had on my shelves for quite a long time and I really need to get to them because they're all books that I was super excited about and I bought them and as we all do as readers we buy those books and then put them on our shelves and forget about them. Um, that's just how it is at least with me. Whenever I'm super excited about a book I usually attain it and then don't read it for a long time afterwards. I don't know, I'm just weird like that. But I have a bunch on this list that like I really want to get to. And so, yeah, I think this is kind of like an accountability video for me to keep me on track and actually get me to read these books by the end of the year. So the first one, I'm very disappointed that I have not read this one yet because this is one that was like big and like very high up on my list but it did take me a while to find an edition that like wasn't damaged. And that is Lightbringer by Pierce Brown. I can't believe I haven't read this yet because like this is my all time favorite series. So I'm a little bit ashamed, but I think I'm going to read this one in August because that's like my birthday month. And last time I read Dark Age over the month of August, I say in that whole month because like these books are chunkers and they take me a while to get through because I want to make sure that like I can like actually absorb everything that this series is giving me and there's a lot happening in most of the books in this series so like it's a lot to take in and I want to absorb it all and just like enjoy the experience. So I'm probably going to save this one for August but yeah I know I'm very disappointed in myself for not getting to it yet so I definitely have to read this one. Then next up is one that like I'm definitely going to get to this month and that's Heartstopper Volume 5. This one, it's been out for quite a while, but it just took me a long time to get the edition I wanted because I needed to order it from the UK. And a lot of that was really just on me delaying the process and forgetting to order it. So like I finally committed to ordering it and got it. And so now I'm going to actually read Volume 5 and I'm excited. I mean, this one's going to take me probably like less than an hour, probably like a half an hour to be honest. But yeah, I'm super excited because I love the Heartstopper series. It's so freaking cute. And yeah, also like season three of this show, I believe is coming out this August. So can't wait for that. That's gonna be awesome. But yeah, this one's definitely on that list. Then the next one is Ready Player Two. And now I believe this has been like on my shelf for a couple years now. I think Marcus got this for me as a gift for either my birthday or Christmas and yeah, it's it's been on the shelves for a long time. I really enjoyed Ready Player One, and then he got this for me, like, pretty close to when it came out, and I still haven't read it, which is very disappointing. So I need to jump in, back into this world and, like, see where it takes me. The ending left it open for, like, in the first one to, like, have so many possibilities happen with this one. And so, yeah, I'm excited to jump back in. I don't want to, like, read anything on the back that's going to tell me what's going to happen. I just want to fall back into the world and see where it goes. But yeah, I really do need to get to this one because it's just been sitting there forever. And I feel bad that I haven't gotten to it yet. So it's been neglected and I'm going to give it some love. Then the next one I have on this list is The Stolen Air. And mainly I just want to get to this one because I read the main trilogy of this series. So the Cruel Prince trilogy. And the, uh, I think it was like the King of Elfheim or something, which was kind of like short stories within that world. I can't remember if it was short stories or it was like a prequel novel, but it was a shorter like add on to the series. So this is following up with characters after the events of the trilogy, the main trilogy of the Cruel Prince. And so I've had this on the shelf for a while. I really enjoyed this world. I enjoyed like how Faye are represented in the series and so I wanted to dive back in and see where this one goes. So yeah, I really just want to get back into it because I, I miss the vibes. Then I need to read Prodigy. This is the second novel in the Legend series. I think that's what it's called. I don't know, it says a Legend novel on it. Um, but this is the second one. I really enjoyed the first one and I remember like wanting to pick this one up shortly after reading it but then like other things got in the way I think it was just like I had arcs that I had to finish before um 
I could get to this and it just kept getting sidetracked and pushed to the side. So I want to make sure that I do read this in 2024 because I really did enjoy the first one and I want to continue with this series. This is like a dystopian series from like the 2010s. So yeah, that's like the the vibe I love. Uh, I'm huge fan of Maze Runner series, huge fan of Hunger Games, huge fan of Divergent, like all of those things. This was giving those vibes as well. So I want to just jump back into that kind of book and just enjoy the ride, honestly. So yeah, I'm hoping to get to this book within the year of 2024. Then next up, I have Superpowered's Year 2. Now, I mean, this one is a thick boy. This one will take me a while to get through as well. But I read the first Superpowered's, um, I'm not, I think it was a couple years ago. And sadly, I accidentally spilled beer on it. <laughs> so that book is kind of warped now a little bit. Um, it's because I like to read these books when I sit out on the deck in the sunshine with my sunglasses on and usually like a nice beer or a lemonade, but happened to be beer that day and I spilt it all over this. Not this one, sorry, the first one. But yeah, I really enjoyed the series. This series is essentially following like superheroes in training. So it's like kids going to college to learn how to control their powers. I think they're called powers when they don't have full control because most people that are born with their abilities have full control of them, but some select few don't have full control and they're kind of like scary or disastrous. And so they're trying to go through training to learn how to control their powers. And it's like a university style and they have like, I don't know, they have like exams and different like training courses, like picture like the X-Men danger room, but like these kids are thrown in there to try and master the powers that they have and fight against each other and stuff. So it's like, it's really fun. I really enjoyed the atmosphere of the first one. And I definitely want to see where year two takes us because the first one takes place for their whole like first year of like superhero university. So yeah, I'm definitely excited to see where this one goes. And yeah, it's going to take me a while because it's a big book, but I'm looking forward to it. And then the last book I have on this list is Soulbinder. This one is involving a character who like is definitely an underdog and you get to see them have so much growth throughout the first three books. And I remember there was some like big plot points in the third book that really left it open-ended. So I'm excited to jump into this one and see where it goes because yeah, it was pretty intense. There's also a character in this series. I think his name is like Rachis or Reiki or something. I don't know how to say it properly, but he's like, this little rodent like companion creature, but he's like so vile and has such a like potty mouth. He's just funny. I love him. And he's probably my favorite character of the whole series. Um, and there's also like this like gunslinging like cowgirl chick that like joins them up and she has some sort of ability. I can't remember what her ability is, but she's really cool too. So yeah, I'm definitely excited to see like where this fourth book goes. I believe there are six books in this whole series, so I definitely will be jumping back in and progressing along with it. But yeah, the first three were good. I think the third one was by far my favorite. So I'm excited to see where this one goes after the events of the third one. But yeah, those are all the books that like I've been meaning to get to and I really want to get to by the end of 2024. So hopefully this video will keep me accountable and I'll actually manage to do that. Um, only time will tell, but yeah, I'm hoping that I can stick to it. Anyways, let me know if you've read any of these books or if you have any books that you are like hoping to get to by the end of 2024, put those in the comments down below. If you guys want to support me, I have a Patreon and a coffee page, which I'll put in the description down below, as well as linked by my bookmarks. You guys know the drill. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button so you get notified when I post new videos. I post new videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And until next time. Keep on reading.